Hello, 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 everybody, everybody in the world. Hello, hello. We're going again to our coaching, the reason for being, and the Superminds University. Yep. I'm uh, Dr. John Ayutut, and uh, we have the Doc J uh, channel, uh, J E A channel and uh, thank you for uh, sharing liking uh, commenting and subscribing <laughs> God is really truly wonderfully beautifully forever good amen and uh, he is always uh, kind and helping us and making us live uh, you know, day by day. So I think uh, I want to discuss uh, again with you in English uh, the beauty of existence and the joy in living. Yeah. Uh, happiness, of course, is the number one thing that we desire. <clears throat> but with that, we also experience sorrow. We experience uh, low moments in our life. Yeah, which is part of existence. And uh, then, you know, it uh, traverses back and forth because I always see that life is a pulse. It's an up and down thing, it's a pulse. It's just like the heartbeat. It's just like the wave in the ocean. You know, it's like having it slow, having it high, you know. The heartbeat is sometimes high and low. Sometimes the blood pressure is sometimes high and then sometimes low. So it's not good that it's low all the time. It's not good that it's high all the time. So it has to really balance things. I think he always uh, comment to the, you know, uh, elevator operator, yeah, that we have here in the Philippines. Every elevator in the big uh, corporation, in the big buildings, they always have like operators, yeah. So I comment to them and I say, oh, your job is up and down, <laughs> and they always laugh. And life indeed is like up and down, you know. So that's why it's very important that we understand that premise of life, you know. And that happiness is the main thing that we want to do. And then when we experience some sadness, sorrow, because of some circumstances, you know, we get out of them. Yeah, and then we go back to our happy moments, you know. We want to be happy all the time, of course. You know, we don't want to experience sadness. We don't want to experience some uh, negative thing, hurtful thing. But can't prevent it. It's just part of existence, you know. It's just like good and evil thing that I always say, yeah. But we would like to be happy always, yeah. And that's what I do actually, you know, because I have the control of my mind and uh, then I'm able to have the QRD and the AOS, the art of segregation where you segregate items in your brain, in your mind that like kinds of bothering you and then you kind of like uh, throw away the battering things, you know, put a wall, you know, you segregate. So that's why the, the technology, the mind technology that I introduced in my coaching is called AOS, the art of segregation. Now of course, we have to have the QRD, which is the quiet, quick, right decision. You know, you cannot like have the right decision uh, like uh, uh, a while or like delay or you have to wait. But uh, some things you have to like quickly decide 
It's just like somebody crossing uh, the street when you are driving and immediately there is that person that crosses and you could actually run over the person, but you put on the brakes right away. Why? Well, because you have the quickness, the right decision. You're not going to say, should I run over this person or should I stop? No, immediately the right decision is to stop. Yeah! You stop, right? So that's the QRD in the AOS. So it's really very needful that we have to have that uh, concept. We have to have that understanding. We have that uh, premise, you know, and that we have that mind control. Mind control is the greatest thing that you and I have to do, you know, because uh, things happen, circumstances take place. So we have to like have that mind control, that, that stability thing, that positivity thing, that thing that being able to see, you know, what is right and what is not. So what not to talk, what not to say, and what to say. So kindness never hurts you. So that's why you have to always be kind. Never say bad words, never say hurting words. And uh, even if it's the truth, hide the truth because the truth hurts. Yeah, a lot of truth hurts. Instead of hurt, a uh, truth delivering or setting you free, a lot of truth hurt people. So it's very needful that you close your mouth, you zip it, don't say anything that will like hurt or like ensue argument, you know, and make the person that hear you feeling bad, you know. It's always nice to say nice, nice things. Never speak negative thing. If it's negative, don't talk about it. Don't say it. You know, if you are in an argument and the person would like to argue, do not argue because nobody wins in an argument. And plus, if you win it, you don't actually change the person. The person is still the same. Yeah. But a person can be changed with kindness, you know. I have some people that come to me and say, oh, he's talking bad about you. And I always say, of course, because I'm not good. I'm actually bad. <laughs> you know, so just to tell them that uh, they have reason to talk bad about me. And so when I see the person that's talking bad about me, I don't actually confront the person I don't say, oh, why are you talking bad about me? No. But I just I say kind, kind thing, you know, oh, you look good today and you have a beautiful uh, appearance. You have a beautiful shirt or a beautiful dress or thing like that, you know, and you're, then, you know, I invite him to eat a Jollibee or a McDonald's and I give him some money, you know, but this the person that talk bad about me, you know, but, you know, uh, I have that mind thing, you know, you have that reason for being thing. Why, 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 why? It's very important that you have to understand your reason for being. Why are you here? Reason for being a man. Reason for being a woman. Reason for being a student. The reason for being an employer. Reason for being a business owner. Reason for being a pastor. Reason for being a married man. You have to understand what is your reason for being. And reason for being is why, 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 why. So I always tell people, people in the Philippines go abroad to find a better employment, a better pay, you know. And the purpose is for them to have, you know, bigger money, money to send uh, back to the family. But the reason for that is because you know, uh, he's working and he's like leaving behind the family for a long time. And then the reason, there is a reason for that. The reason for that being is that uh, the kids have to finish school, the kids have to have support system, you know, and the family have to have more money and things like that. There's always that reason. And that's why philosophy, philosophy is the understanding of reason. When you're talking about philosophy, you're talking about your why, your reason. That's why 87% of the questions is always why, 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 why. And you have to find out the reason. 
So in life, you know, in our existence, the reason for being is very needful that we have to have that clear mind. We have to understand, you know, that circumstances happen. Life is an up and down thing, you know. Uh, it's a pulse. It's not a steady thing. It's a pulse. It's exchanges. It's uh, good and evil. You know, and that's why you have to have that control. Mind control is the greatest thing. When you have that control, then you're going to live, yeah. Kindly, good, happy, uh, humbly, nice, you know. And then you're going to find a way how to make more money. You're going to find a way how to be like successful, how to have good health, you know. So it comes together. It's like a, uh, what do you call that? It's a combination of a lot of things, you know. Uh, so that's why it's very needful that we have to have this kind of coaching that when people hear it, you know, they'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree, or I disagree, you know. So that's what we do here in our reason for being coaching in our Super Minds University. You know, we have that Super Mind. Yeah, in the vertical uh, mind thing, we have the God being mind, we have the senses mind, we have the program mind, we have the perspective mind. And then the uh, horizontal thing, we have the brain, the mind, the will, the choice, the reason, and the decision. This is just, just like driving a car. Yeah. So, yep, uh, we, uh, we are thankful, we are grateful to God. Uh, God is good all the time, and so that's all that I can share with you. And thank you very much, and Dr. John Ayutu, subscribe to the Dr. Jaya channel. Comment, share, like, and thank you very much. God bless you.